Hello children, today we are going to have an online session for mathematics class 7. As you all know that the first chapter is on integers. You must have learned integers in class 6. Anyway, I am going to do the introduction again. First of all, we will revise what we have learned in our previous classes. You must be knowing what natural numbers are. Natural numbers are the set of counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. till infinity. Next, you must know what are whole numbers. All natural numbers including 0 forms the set of whole numbers. Finally, we will study about integers. Integers are the set of whole numbers including negative numbers. We should now know what is the need for studying integers? For example, if two friends are moving five steps in opposite direction from the same point, now how to represent them? So we take the friend moving in the right direction as plus 5 and the person moving in the left direction as minus 5. That is, all opposite situations are represented with the help of integers. We will take a few more examples. Profit is represented by plus positive sign and loss by negative sign. Above is taken as positive and below is taken as negative. Now, how to represent integers on a number line? You can see the figure drawn below here. All the numbers which are towards the right of 0 are called positive integers and all the numbers which are towards the left of 0, they are all called negative integers. Now, we will see some of the properties of integers. As we see from the number line, the value of the numbers increase as we move from left to right and decrease as we move from right to left. 0 is neither positive nor negative. All positive numbers are greater than 0 and all negative numbers are less than 0. 1 is the smallest positive integer and minus 1 is the greatest negative integer. In a nutshell, positive integers start from 1 from right of 0 and negative integers start from minus 1 from the left of 0 on a number line. Now I am going to give a small question on number line. See, I have drawn one number line on the board and it is na named as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And if D is 0, Find the integers for which the other alphabet stands. Now, some more or a little more we are going to study about integers. Addition and subtraction of integers on a number line. We know when we add a positive integer, we move to the right of the number line. When we add a negative integer, we move to the left of the number line. When we subtract a positive integer, we move towards the left. And when we subtract a negative integer, we move towards the right. It is Now it is all for now. We will study about integers later again.